Springtime brings a lot of activities and everybody's busy, but Christy Shive, Warren County SNAP educator, is going to show us how we can still eat healthy even on the run. That's right, Joanna. Um, springtime is a time that can be <coughs> good or bad for us nutritionally. Um, it's a time that we're very busy, which is good, but it's also a time that we could run through that drive through. Absolutely. And so, um, but if you can plan ahead, that is great. And so today I have our Holy Great Grains mix, so whole grains, and it's a really fun, tasty recipe that you can make ahead of time, um, put it in baggies or an airtight container and just mm -hmm. bring it to that softball game or bring it to that baseball game and you can have it for yourself or share with friends. Absolutely. And so um, it's really easy. All um, it calls for is one cup of pretzels. Um, the I just use our Kroger brand pretzel sticks. Um, one cup of popcorn. Now you can use cheddar popcorn, you can use the salt kind. I use kettle corn because I think this sweet makes it um, a little bit tastier. Um, one cup of Honey Nut Cheerios. Cheerios, and they're always fun. They are. And <laughs> I actually use cr um, the off-brand for all the ingredients. Um, it's going to save you a little bit of money. And is this just Chex Mix? Mm -hmm. Yes, so this is Chex Mix. They were out of the wheat, so I used rice. So you could use either or. Mm -hmm. And then you are going to do a half cup of either raisins or cranberries. They even had some uh, dried blueberries. I think that would be good. Yes, absolutely. So you can kind of change this up each you time. You know, it's not like the same exactly. mix every single time. The recipe actually calls for a half a cup of any kind of nuts. So walnuts walnuts, peanuts. I know that there are a lot of nut allergies that you want to be careful, watchful for with your little ones. So I left those out, but if that is something that you like, mm -hmm. you can absolutely throw those in. You could even throw in some goldfish crackers. Um, I like this recipe because you can make it your own, whatever your family or your child likes. It's a fun way to get the kids into the kitchen and it's really a good a good snack because right here I have it in little to go baggies. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a time that you can really focus on um, getting the kids in the kitchen. School's almost out, spring break time. Maybe it's already happened or it's coming up. This could be a fun activity. And then when you, you know, take it to the game, it's really rewarding because the kids made it themselves. And you know, it's it's probably le less expensive than buying things from the concession stand. We know it's probably are healthier for us. But I think your bag idea, Christy, is a great idea because if I had this in front of me, I might be tempted to yes. eat more than this, but this is probably the portion that I need to eat right. this snack. Exactly. Adults need about six ounces of grains every day. Mm -hmm. Children need about three to six ounces. So one cup of this is equal to one ounce. So one cup is one serving of your grains every day. All right, so a great way to get in your grains because a lot of times when we are busy like that, sometimes grains, whole grains especially, are really hard to incorporate into yes, our diet. it is. So this is a great way, and I love the flexibility and the versatility of this recipe because like you said, you can add, change it up. Right. You know, for my little boy that might not eat this, I could put some, maybe some like mini M&Ms. Right, oh, that's a good idea. Add some calories, but we would still be getting our grains Exactly, in. and the trail mixes that we buy in the store are so high in sodium, mm -hmm. and sodium is something that we are getting way too much of. So this is a way to cut down on that sodium and make sure that you are not overloading on sodium, make sure your little ones aren't overloading. And the good thing about this is that you can make sure that the ingredients you are buying are whole grains. What you wanna do is look at the ingredients list and the first thing you wanna see, you want it to say whole grain. Mm -hmm. So if it says enriched, that means that the nutrients have been taken out and then have been enriched. So you, you can really make sure that you are giving yourself a healthy snack. Absolutely. And in this airtight container, it'll probably last, what, a week? Right. About a week, um, maybe even more, uh, probably a week just to be safe. Yeah, to still have that nice crunch. Now, Christy, mm -hmm. if people want that recipe, they're yes. not as experimental in the kitchen. Do we have that at the Extension we Office? We do. It's one of our recipes that we do with our 4-H programs, um, our youth programs. I'm a SNAP educator. And so you can call us and ask for this recipe. We'd be happy to give it to them, um, to the community. 
We're so excited. Uh, springtime, summertime, we have lots of other recipes also if anyone is interested. Absolutely. So if one of your goals is eating healthier in the spring and summertime, call Christy or Nan here at the Extension Office and they'd be happy to get you on the right track.